Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear viewers. Hope you will be, will be fine with good health. I am Dr. Abdul Malik, PhD Pharmacology, Assistant Professor, College of Pharmacy, University of Sarwada. Here today I am going to discuss about pharmacy syllabus, first year, including physiology A and B. As this course is taught in two semesters, so physiology A and B will be discussed here. So let us see the major components of physiology theory, physiology A, theory, credit or three, course objectives. After the completion of this course, the student should be able to describe all the basic physiological processes, which are the basic uh, basis of pathophysiology of various diseases and their ultimate link with pharmacology for their treatment. So this uh, is the uh, course objective of Physiology A. So you should understand basic theme. Now let us see first chapter will be basic cell functions. Uh, in subheading will be chemical composition of the body in which atoms, molecules, ions, free radicals, polar molecules, solutions, classes of organic molecules and B subtype will be cell structure, microscopic observation of cell, microscopic cell organelles, cytoskeleton. So C will be protein activity and cellular metabolism, binding site characteristics, regulation of binding site characteristics. So these are the protein activity and the other chemical reactions, enzymes, regulation of enzyme mediated reactions, multi-enzyme metabolic path pathways, ATP, cellular energy transfer, carbohydrates, fat and protein metabolism. Essential nutrients will be discussed. And the subheading D, genetic information and protein synthesis, genetic code, protein synthesis, protein degradation, protein secretion, replication and expression of genetic information, cancer, genetic engineering and the E subtype will be movement of the molecular molecules across cell membranes. Epion, mediated transport systems, osmosis, endocytosis and exocytosis epithelial transport will be discussed. And some other we can see uh, part is second part is biological control system, biological control system, second major chapter will be. And subheading A will be homeostatic mechanisms and cellular communication, general characteristics, components of homeostatic uh, control systems, intercellular chemical messengers, processes related to homeostasis, receptors, signal transduction, pathways will be discussed. And the subheading B, neural control mechanisms in which structure and maintenance of neurons will be discussed, functional classes of neurons, glial cells or neuroglia we can say, neural growth and regeneration. regeneration. So these are the CNS uh, work, basic principles of electricity, erection potential, the resting membrane potential, graded potentials and action potentials, functional anatomy of synapses, synapses will be discussed. Activation of postsynaptic cell, synaptic effectiveness, neurotransmitters and the neuromodulators, neuroeffector communication, central nervous system and spinal cord will be discussed. Central nervous system includes brain, peripheral nervous system, blood supply, blood brain barrier, or phenomenon, phenomenon, and cerebrospinal fluid, CSF fluid. And the subtype C will be sensory systems, receptors, neural pathways in sensory system, association cortex, and perceptual processing. Perceptual processing will be discussed. Primary sensory coding somatic sensation, VN, hearing, vestibular system and chemical senses will be discussed in these courses. And the D subtype will be principles of hormonal control system, hormone structures and synthesis, hormone transport in the blood, hormone metabolism and excretion, mechanisms of hormone action, inputs that control hormone secretion, control systems involving the hypothalamus and pituitary candidate hormones 
types of endocrine disorders. So these are the uh, topics related to the principal hormonal control and the E subtype will be the muscles, structure, molecular mechanism of contraction, how muscle contract, mechanisms, uh, mechanics of single fiber contraction, skeletal muscle energy metabolism, types of skeletal muscle fibers, whole muscle contraction, structure, contraction and its control and the F subtype will be control of body movements, motor control hierarchy. So these are the again subtopics and local control of motor neurons, the brain motor centers and the descending pathways they control, muscle tone, maintenance of upright posture and balance, walking will be discussed in this course. And the G subtype, consciousness and behavior will be discussed, state of consciousness, consciousness experiences, motivation and emotion, altered state of consciousness, learning and memory, cerebral dominance and language conclusion. So note special emphasis uh, should be given on the normal physiological values and their changes during respective pathological conditions. So these will be the major point for understanding uh, this is the note. Now we go towards the physiology uh, A practical. Practicals of the subject shall be designed from time to time on the basis of the above mentioned theoretical topics and the availability of facilities. Experimental physiology includes neuronal, neural control mechanisms, nerve muscle preparation in frog, effect of temperature on muscle and demonstration of spinal reflexes will be discussed in first physiology practical. Other second number is sensory system. Visual uh, activity, far VN, near VN, and field of VN, perimetry, hearing, and vestibular system will be discussed. So these are the practical of physiology A. Now we go towards the physiology B. Here is the physiology B. You can see theory uh, having three credit hours, and the semester will be the second, second semester. A coordinated body functions, in which subheading is circulation. Plasma, the blood cells, pressure, flow and resistance, anatomy, heartbeat coordination, mechanical events of the cardiac cycle, the cardiac output, measurements of cardiac function, arteries, arterioles, capillaries, veins, the lymphatic system, baroreceptor reflexes, blood volume, and the long term regulation of arterial pressure, other cardiovascular reflexes, and the responses. Hemorrhage and other causes of hypotension, the upright posture, exercise, hypertension, heart failure, coronary artery disease and heart attacks, formation of platelet plug, blood coagulation, clot formation, anti-clotting systems and anti-clotting drugs will be discussed in physiology B. And the subheading B including respiration as you can see the system wise we are discussing cardiovascular system was in previous and now respiratory system is here. So respiration, organization of the respiratory system, ventilation and lung mechanics, mechanics, exchange of gases and alveoli and tissues, transport of oxygen in blood, transport of carbon dioxide in blood, transport of hydrogen ions between tissues and lungs, control of respiration, apoxia, non-respiratory function of the lungs. So these are the some topics related to respiration. And the other is the kidneys and the regulation of the water and inner inorganic ions. There is the renal system you can see, renal functions, structure of the kidneys and urinary system, basic renal processes, the concept of renal clearance, micturation, total body balance uh, of sodium and water, basic renal process for sodium and water, retention, uh, renal, sodium regulation, renal water regulation will be discussed. These are the related to the topics. Now a summary example, the response to sweating, thirst and salt, appetite, potassium regulation, effect sites for calcium homeostasis, hormonal controls, metabolic bone diseases, source of hydrogen ion gain or loss, buffering of hydrogen ions in the body, integration of homeostatic controls, renal mechanisms, classification of acidosis and alkalosis, diuretics, kidney diseases will be discussed. Now, D is 
digestion and absorption digestive system will be discussed here you can see overview functions of the gastrointestinal organs structure of the gastrointestinal tract wall digestion and absorption will be discussed though, though now we go to the other parts regulation of gastrointestinal processes pathophysiology of the gastrointestinal tract subheading e will be regulation of organic metabolism growth and energy balance events of absorptive and re post absorptive states endocrine and neural control of the absorptive and reabsorptive post absorptive states fuel homeostasis in exercise and stress diabetes mellitus will be discussed hyperglycemia as the cause of symptoms regulation of plasma cholesterol bone growth environmental factors influencing influencing growth hormonal influences on growth compensatory con growth basic concepts of energy expenditure regulation of total body energy stores regulation of temperature will be discussed in these chapters or a second form uh, physiology second or b now f will be the reproductive system reproduction general principles of gametogenesis anatomy spermatogenesis transport of sperm hormonal control of male reproductive functions ovarian function control of ovarian function uterine changes in the menstrual cycle other effects of estrogen and progesterone androgen in women female sexual response pregnancy sex determination sex differentiation puberty menopause and g will be defense mechanism of body that is lymphatic system will be discussed cells mediating immune defenses non specific immune defenses specific immune defenses will be discussed and the systemic manifestation of infection factors that alter the body's resistance to infection harmful immune responses absorption storage sites excretion biotransformation function of the cortisol in the stress function of the sympathetic nervous system this is the autonomic nervous system in stress other hormone release during stress psychological stress and disease so note we see special emphasis should be given on the normal physiology values and their changes during respective pathological conditions furthermore the physiological link will be developed with pathology as well as pharmacology so we are studying physiology for the uh, studying the pathology and pharmacology so link will be developed if you will study about the physiology clearly then we go toward the practical physiology b practical will be here you can see already i have explained the note now include the practical in which blood blood uh, determination of hemoglobin determination of esr erythrocyte sedimentation rate red blood cell count white blood cell count dlc differential leukocyte count bleeding time coagulation time and blood groups will be discussed in practical second uh, chapter will be or uh, practical will be respiration on basis of respiration estimation of vital capacity and its relation to posture and standard vital capacity determination of tidal volume and determination of artificial respiration third uh, will be practical major practical will be the cardiovascular system recording of arterial pulse or other you can see the recording of arterial blood uh, pressure and electrocardiogram these are the related uh, practical to the cardiovascular system now we go to the recommended books these are uh, recommended books for the uh, physiology a and for physiology b you can study these are the previous versions but you can take new version of these books so first chatterjee cc human physiology ninth edition medical allied agency 1994 this is very old edition if you have new edition you can study uh, and the other book is samson rights applied physiology 13th edition 1992 very old edition you can take the new edition guyton this is commonly studied here uh, textbooks of medical physiology 9th edition 2011 but new versions are also available Count, uh, Count's man, Tartora, anatomy and physiology for manual therapies, 
new edition is also available soft and hard copies can be taken and can be studied martini f fundamentals of anatomy and physiology 8th edition uh, 2010 but new editions are also available this is the syllabus of 2013 up till now not revised so we are studying the old books saladin uh, anatomy and physiology saladin is also very important author and the anatomy and physiology is the title of that unity of form and function sixth edition 1998 new edition can be purchased Snell, this is an important clinical anatomy for medical student, first edition. This is very old edition, new editions are also available. Uh, yeah, here you can see human anatomy and physiology, third edition. Spence, AP, Elliot, B, Mason, EB, 1992. Uh, these are the best publishing company. And the last, uh, I think, book, Stuart Era, Stuart Era, uh, Fox, uh, Human Physiology. 11th edition 2008 is also available. So, uh, soft and hard copies both are available. You can easily study. And the 10th uh, number is Tortora, Direction Principle of Anatomy and Physiology, 13th edition 2010. So, older edition you can take Tortora, new edition for studying the physiology. Here is the another book, Vendors Human Physiology, 12th edition 2010. This is again uh, older edition. You can take the new edition. Review of Medical Physiology, 22nd edition. Uh, Prentice Hall International, 2005. This is also again older edition. You can purchase the new edition. Thank you. I think uh, God bless you all. If you have any question, you can ask or uh, write in the comment section. Please subscribe to the channel for more updates. Allah Hafiz.